John Dooley and for Dave Dull. And Who's in was for I Phil just, Schwartz? <laughs> Who is in for Phil Schwartz? If you saw the 5 o'clock <laughs> news tonight. You'll know why I'm in for Phil ah, Schwartz. <laughs> a little bit of laryngitis, I think, he's just been stricken away. Put he, simply, got sick in the ear. He held Vale hostage. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. Sure We're not going to live that one. That's going to be on Christmas uh, reels I, forever. I, yes, our Christmas the party is reels. coming up in less than a month. And <laughs> Was I mistaken, or did I actually see? Did you see the sun? It today? came out today. Can How you believe that? it? Can you believe it? How many no. days in a row now? Well, that's Without our weather fact. Yeah, coincidentally, gosh, <laughs> I, I, you know. Bingo. You work with Mark for a while, and he just—it's—it's it's like, it's mental. It's pure mental. <laughs> our weather fact for tonight oh, <laughs> is: today was the first day with sunshine since. Since when? Well. Since Sunday, obviously, a Sunday, the November 15th, 11 days ago. Oh, there was a little bit of sun, like 17 minutes of it on the 16th, but that's all she wrote as far as that goes. And here's a place that had a lot of sun uh, and an 86 degree high temperature today. That's the beach at uh, Miami Beach. That's what they do on Thanksgiving Day in South Florida, where a number of record high temperatures were set today, including 87 degrees at Fort Lauderdale. Uh, we have not that kind of weather around here. We do have the sun, but we don't have the high temperatures, mainly because we're surrounded by snow. There's snow on the ground all around us, except for the little donut hole across the southern portion of the state. Here's the track of the storm that uh, dumped almost a, a foot of snow into southwestern Wisconsin yesterday. Currently outside, without the snow cover, we are at a temperature of 24 degrees, dew points 19, northwest wind at 7, and a steady barometer. Our almanac for today, high temperature, almost perfectly average, 34 degrees, and the low, 24 degrees. So we had a trace of snow overnight, and the sun will rise at 726 tomorrow morning. Here's what's going to happen over the next 24 to 48 hours. The cold air is going to be replaced by mild Pacific air, and it's going to be nice for tomorrow. Forecast details call for partly cloudy skies tonight, a little colder, a low temperature right around the 20 degree mark. Then for tomorrow morning, mostly sunny start and a 25 degree temperature. We'll get up into the mid-30s for highs tomorrow with lots of sunshine around. And then tomorrow night, partly cloudy and not as cold, the lower 20s. For Saturday, a nice day. Warmer temperatures, the lower 40s. And looking out ahead to the rest of the weekend and into the beginning of next week, the good news is, or it's bad news if you don't like precipitation, there isn't any. Temperatures will be <laughs> average in the 30s. Good deal. Yeah, I like it. She doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to have you here anyway. Thank Thanks, you. John. <laughs>